Hello students, uh, today we will going to discuss okay, residential status and uh, incidence of tax for BCom and BBA students. Okay, And BBA students, they have examination on 10th of uh, October this month and being uh, exams have been postponed. Okay, We have to learn some of the topics in income tax which may helpful for you in the examination. Let's understand what is the residential status. Say, as per the Income Tax Act of 1961, we should understand what is residential status of an individual. Okay. See, we have different types of persons in that we have an individual. Individual. Who is an individual? Individual may be a Rama, Krishna, Govinda or any individual. Okay. Who has to be resident in India for the purpose of Income Tax Act of 1961. See, we have two terms here. One is a resident, other one is a citizen. Okay. Who is a citizen? A citizen is a person who takes birth in India. Okay. A citizen is a person who takes birth in India. By birth, he becomes a citizen of the country. But who is a resident? See, for the purpose of Income Tax Act, a person becomes a resident if he satisfies some of the conditions which is given by the Companies Act of 1961. Then what are the such conditions and what are the different types of residents? Okay, see we have resident and non-resident. Resident and non-resident. Now to become a resident, to become a resident of India, what are the conditions that an individual have to satisfy. See, there are two conditions. One is called as basic conditions. Basic conditions. The other one is additional conditions. Basic conditions and additional conditions. Now, let us understand what are the basic conditions and what are the additional conditions. Okay. See, first basic condition is a person, an individual, okay, he or she should be in India at least for how many days? 182 days. See, he or she should be in India, should be in India for at least 182 days or more more during which year during the previous year see our previous year is 2018 and 19 suppose if your previous year is 1920 then in the year 2019 18 uh, sorry 1920 you should be for at least for how many days 180 days since our previous year is 2018 and 19 which starts from 1st April 2018 ends with 31st March 2019 a person should be there in India for at least 182 days or more if a person satisfied or living in India for 182 days or more then he satisfied the first basic condition and he becomes the resident of India he becomes resident of India Sir, you may ask a question. Sir, what happens if a person is not staying in India for 182 days? Then is there any alternative option for him? Yes, definitely we have an option. We have a second basic condition. What is that second basic condition is he or she, he or she should be in India. Should be in India for at least how many days? 60 days during the previous year. During the previous year and see ya. And along with the 60 days, a person should satisfy and 365 days in 4 years preceding to the previous year. Preceding to the previous year. Sir, what is this? See, during the previous year, a person should be how many days? 
60 days at least. At least how many days? 60 days. Along with the 60 days, the person should be there for 365 days in 4 years preceding to the previous year. That means to say, say for this, what is our previous year? Our previous year is 2018-19. Minimum how many days it should be? 60 days. This is compulsory. And before proceeding to the previous year, proceeding to this previous year, 2017, 18, 16, 17, 17, 18, 16, <coughs> sorry, 17, 18, 16, 17, 15, 16, 14, 15. Am I right? In these four years preceding to the previous year, okay, back to this previous year, he should be there for how many days? 365 days. Sir, 365 days can be stayed. 100 days, 100 days, even in the splitted days of these 4 years also, continuously also, splitted days also. Say for example, 14, 15, he was there for 150 days. He didn't come here. In 16, 17, again he was there for 100 days. Again here for 200 days. Now he satisfied 365 days. Understood? But what is compulsory? Previous year, he must be there for at least 60 days. When the second basic condition applicable, Second basic condition is applicable if a person fails to satisfy the first basic condition. Understood? If he fails to satisfy the first basic condition, then he will have a second basic condition. Suppose if he fails to satisfy even 60 days, that is second basic condition also, then this person becomes a non-resident. Means a person who does not satisfy any one of the basic condition who is called as a non-resident. A person who satisfied any one of the basic condition who is called as a resident. Who satisfied any one who is called as a resident. A person who does not satisfy any one of the basic condition he becomes a non-resident. All of you got it? <coughs> now let us understand. Now we understood who is a resident, who is a non-resident. Now residents are two types. Residents are two types. One is called as ordinary resident. Other one is not ordinary resident. Ordinary resident, not ordinary resident. To become an ordinary resident, to become an ordinary resident, then the same person who satisfies any one of the basic conditions must satisfy both additional conditions. If you want to become ordinary resident, you must satisfy any one of the basic and both additional conditions. Now we should understand what are the two additional conditions we have. Now first additional condition is a person, a person should be resident for at least two years out of ten years preceding to the previous year. All of you got it? See, if this is our previous year 2018-19, living this ten years, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. In this ten preceding to the previous year, he should be what? He should be resident for how many years? Two Only years. two years. In any year, say for example, this is 17, 18, 16, 17, 15, 16, 14, 15, 13, 14, 12, 13, 11, 12, 10, 11, 9, 10, 8, 9. Okay. In this uh, 10 years preceding to this previous year, he should be resident for how many years? Two years. Then he satisfies the first additional condition. Now, along with this, he must satisfy the second additional condition also. What is the second additional condition? The second additional condition is, one minute. The second additional condition is, a person should stay for 
How many days? 730 days in 7 years preceding to the previous year. Means, first additional condition is you must be resident for how many years? Yeah. 2 years. Out of how many years? 10 years. But what is the second additional condition is saying? You must stay for how many days? 730 days in 7 years preceding to the 7 years preceding to the 7 preceding years. That means from 17 to 18 to 17, 18 to 11, 12, you must be there for how many years? 730 days means 2 years. Okay. Then he becomes an ordinary resident. Now let us conclude. Okay. Who is an ordinary resident? An ordinary resident is a person who satisfied any one of the basic conditions and both additional conditions. That's why I have written here and. Means one and two both. Here one or two. Either one or two. But here both. <coughs> Got it? So ordinary resident passing one additional basic condition and both additional conditions. Who is a not ordinary resident? A not ordinary resident is one who satisfied any one of the basic condition but fails to satisfy both additional conditions. Okay. If a person does not satisfy any both, both additional conditions, then you become not ordinary. You may ask a question, sir, in this one uh, condition is satisfied, in this one condition, then you become a not ordinary. Because to become an ordinary, one of these and both of this. <coughs> then who is a non-resident? A non-resident is one who does not satisfy any one of the basic conditions. If you don't satisfy any one of the basic conditions, then automatically you will become what? Non-resident of India. <coughs> Sir, for examination, this is very important for 6 marks. And also they will ask for two masks, who is an ordinary resident, who is a not ordinary resident, who is a non-resident, like this type of question. Uh, minimum eight marks uh, question will be there for you. We will solve one question paper problem so that you will understand. Okay. Uh, students, uh, we have a question paper uh, for BBA students in 2018, June examination. They have asked one question for six marks. Uh, let us uh, discuss. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Uma Maheshwari comes to India for the first time on 1 10 2016. Here is 16 is there. Please make it 2018. Okay. Now, say when she is coming to India for the first time on 1 10 2018. Okay. Instead of 16, I am making it as 18. On 1st of October 2018. Okay. She joins ITC Limited on a monthly salary of 25,000. On 15th of October 2016, she starts a wholesale merchant business and earns 10,000 per month. Determine the residential status of Mrs. Uma or Ms. Uma Maheshwari for the assessment year, assessment year 1920. Make it 1920. Okay, now. See, whatever the information is given. She joined for ITC company for 25,000. She started wholesale business uh, uh, earning 10,000 per month. All are irre irrelevant information for us. Adela, you know, what is that? It's all irrelevant. We don't want all such information. See, Mrs. Uma Maheshwari, when she came from the foreign country, she came to India first time on 1st of October 2018. Am I right? See, what is our previous year? Our previous year starts from 1st of April 2018, ends with 31st March 2019. Am I right? Say, when she is coming on 1st of October, 1st of October 2018, October to 31st March 2019, from here to here, she is completely in India only. Say yes or no? Yes, sir. Say, there is no need of showing all these calculations for you. Okay, just by words itself we can solve this question. See, she was not actually an Indian resident. She was outside India. She came to India for the first time. Before that, she never visited India. She came to India on 1st of October 2018. Am I right? So, from 18 October 1st onwards, 
Continuously she is staying in India. Am I right? Yes, then she is staying for October, November, December, January, February, March. So almost exactly six months she is staying. Am I right? If she is staying for six months, how many months days it comes in the October? I will tell you. Wait a minute. I'll show you here. Anyone? See, from 1st October 2018 to 31st March 2019, October, November, December, January, February and March. October is how many months? How many days? 31 days. November is 30 days. December 31, January 31, 28 and 31. Now tell me how many days it is? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Oh, sorry. 9, 10, 11, 12. 1 carries 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is 18. Exactly 182 days. Exactly how many days? 182 days. Now, if she is staying for exactly 182 days or more, she become what? A resident. Now, we have to check which she, she uh, fulfilled the first basic condition, but we have to check with additional condition. Does she satisfy the both additional conditions? No. Why? Because, because she came to India first time on 1st October 2018. Before this day, she was completely not at all in India. She was not in India at all. Right? So she satisfied only the first basic condition and she failed to satisfy the additional conditions. So thereby, she can call it as a resident but not ordinary resident. She is a resident, but not ordinary resident. Got it? Atayita? Okay, fine. So this is a, a question for six marks. What you can write at the end is Miss Uma Bharati, uh, Uma Maheshwari. Okay, Uma Maheshwari satisfied the first basic condition and she is a resident, but fails to satisfy both additional conditions as she came to India first time on 1st of October 2018, before this date, she was not in India at all. So that's it, you got 6 marks for this. Got it guys? Okay. Guys, uh, in the year 2017, we have one more question. I will read out the question. This is question number 2 uh, asked in the year 2017. Uh, determine the residential status of Mr. Tejas for the assessment year. Please make it 1920 who was in India as follows. Previous year 2015-16. Uh, make it instead of 15-16 make it 18-19. Okay. And 14-15 is make it as 17-18 and 16, 17 and 15, 16. Okay. So, shall I write it on the board? Now, 2018, 19, she was present for 192 days. 2017, 18, she was present for how many days? 75 days. In 2016, uh, 17, 60 days. 60 days. And 2015, 16, she was there for how many days? 30 days. Now, that's all the information is given. Now, we have to conclude what is the residential, uh, what is his residential status. Now, please look at here. We have the rules on the board. Am I right? What is the first basic condition says? 182 days in previous year, 1890. Does, does he stay? Yes, sir. Yes, he is staying for more than 182 days. So, thereby he become a resident. Now, what we have to check with? We have to check with the additional condition. Out of 10 years, preceding to this previous year, 10 years, he must be the resident for 2 years. But here, he is staying only 75, 60. No. At least he must be there for how many days? 182 days here to become a resident. Am I right or not? And more than that, I will tell you. See, she came, he came to India for the first time from 15, 16. Understood? Here he was came to India. Before that he was not at all in India. If you take preceding to the previous year, 7 years, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In this 7 years, how many days he should be? 
seven thirty days. Correct? Ah, but here living this previous year, this is not even one fifty days also. Am I right? So he is not stayed for. If you check with second additional condition, second additional condition, we can decide the what is the residential status of this person. Right or no? So that means to say, even Mr. Tejas is satisfied the first basic condition, but fails to satisfy both additional condition. He is a resident, but not ordinary resident. <coughs> Tell me how much time it took for us? Only two minutes of time to decide. Correct? Huh? Now let us check with 2016 question paper also. If we have, do we have? Yeah, we have. <coughs> this is a still more easier question compared to this. This is 2016 question number two only. 16 question paper. I read out this question and please uh, make the chair date status. Mr. Vijay, an Indian citizen. See, an Indian citizen means what? Who born in India? Okay. Left India for the first time on one four two thousand eight. Am I right or not? If two thousand eight, make it as two thousand eight only. Don't change it. And came back to India on one nine two thousand eighteen. Make it instead of eleven. Make it eighteen. One minute. Uh, three years before means eighteen. Uh, you make it uh, 2080 then what? That you make it 2013. 2013. 13 bada. Make it 2014. Make it 2014. Shall I read the question once again? Okay. Mr. Vijay, Vijay, an Indian citizen, left India for the first time on 14 2014. Okay. And came back to India on one nine two thousand eleven, two thousand eighteen. Okay. Now please take it here. See, Mr. Vinay here. He Vijay is living India on first of uh, September, April, first of April two thousand fourteen. Here he is living. Am I right? He is living in this year, and he did not come all these years. He was including here India. Before that, he was present in India. Here, he was not at all in India. Am I right or no? Now, during the previous year, eighteen nineteen, okay, when did he came back? On first of September two thousand eighteen. Means September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Okay, so first September is nothing but thirty days, thirty-one days, thirty days, thirty-one days, thirty-one days, twenty-eight days, and thirty-one days. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One carries one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two hundred how many days? Twelve days. Now, does he satisfy the first basic condition? Yes, he satisfied because more than one eighty two days. Additional condition does he satisfied? No, no. Yes, he satisfied because he was a resident for two years. He is left India on first of April two thousand fourteen. Before that, he was completely in India. Correct? Ah, yes, sir. Now ready? Then I. He left India on first of April two thousand fourteen. Before that, he was in India only. Correct? Ah. So that means to say, from here to here, he was completely in India. He satisfied 730 days in seven years. Okay, three years continuously staying, more than three. I mean, 365 days. And here he is resident for two years. So he become a what? Resident, resident and ordinary resident. Resident and ordinary resident. We can say, Mr. Vijay. He is a resident and ordinary resident during the previous year, 1819, as he satisfied the first basic condition and satisfied both additional conditions. Understood? So this is as simple as it is. Okay. So if you refer these type of questions for BBA students, you will be asked uh, very simple questions. Okay. Not uh, too much of uh, you know uh, float.
floating of coming going to india outside in and all those things will not ask you so if you like uh, this video please like it, share to your friends okay and subscribe my channel sai study sir thank you so much